Well, good day and welcome to today's program. My name's Grant Lee and it's good to have your company. On the show today, we have a very, very talented young man. Uh, and I always say that, don't I? I really do. So uh, who do we have? Well, he was born on the 30th of June. So his birthday is about to come up uh, in, in, in a few days time or a few weeks time, we should say. And um, he started his uh, journey, believe it or not, before, before he became a musician. He started his journey as a football player. Can you believe that? For the Hammers, no doubt. <laughs> so that's West Ham United. So listen, he, 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 I'm going to get him to explain because it's a very interesting story. But my guest on today's program is the one and only Gavin Holligan. Hello, Gavs. Hi, how you doing? I'm terrific. Now, you've got this new single, uh, yeah. This Hotel Is Closed, which we will get to. We yeah. will get to it. But I, I want to give our viewers and listeners a, a touch of, you know, who this guy is, where he's coming from, that kind of thing. Bit of, bit of background. Okay, so your birthday's not that far away. It's next month. So yeah. you must be excited about that. <laughs> yeah, no. I Any plans? Any plans? Yeah, I have um, a gig on the 26th of June that I'm going to kind of tie in with my birthday. Excellent. Um, I'm playing. I'm playing a live gig at the uh, Six O Six Club in Chelsea. Wow! So Going to be my birthday celebration, really. Okay. Have you got guest artists as well? Um, just just in talks with a couple of people. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay, that's brilliant. Absolutely yeah. brilliant. So tell us, tell us about this football stint that you, that that you went through. Um, because as, as I sort of did my research, I understood that you was at uni and you got scholarship. Is that right? So I went to Brit school after secondary school. I went to Brit school. I did um, two years at the Brit school. Yeah. And then I didn't get into my uni choice. So, so I went and done, um, I went and signed for Kingstonians, which is like a Vauxhall conference team at the time. And I played there for a few months and then done really, really well. And um, a lot of clubs started kind of looking at me. And Quite a lot of clubs. Yeah, yeah, there were, there were quite a number of teams interested in me. Um, and West Ham was the one that done the deal. So, okay. Yeah. It must have been a very exciting time at the time, you know, being, you know, picked for... A, a well-known team. Uh, your parents must have been excited. Your sisters, you've got two sisters, right? Um, but yeah, it, that, 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 that excitement playing with West Ham didn't last too long, did it? What, what happened there? Um, there was a number of factors that um, took place. Um, injuries was a big part of that and um, lack of, you know, form lack of confidence um, and just a few kind of episodes that didn't put me in the you know best um, favor with the management a couple of times so I think it was a combination of things really that um, took place yeah to kind of like drop drop draw me into music earlier than I planned because actually I was always um, passionate about music it wasn't okay. like music's my second love you know kind of thing it, it, it was kind of up there right yeah it was up there it, all it, the time it was there and yeah, you come it, from a kind of musical family as well yeah. don't you, 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 you yeah you, exactly you, i know your one of your sisters is currently on tour with some some well-known people yeah she's always touring with well known. she's always touring <laughs> she, she's in demand you know and it's great. So yeah, she's also full time music. Um, my other siblings, I have a brother in law who's also an artist that I um, work with over the years, and my sister also sings, but she's not doing um, music full time. She's actually doing midwifery. Excellent. But she, you know, we always sing together, and you know, there's always a nice synergy. 
So at some point, I might even try and do a project. I was going to ask you. That'd be nice. Do a little family thing. Did Did your dad um, Did your dad play any instruments, or your mum, or my dad used to play saxophone. Saxophone. Um, that's right. Many years ago. Um, yeah. Not not of any professional level, but no. But I mean, you know, in, you know, as you grow, as you were growing up, you would have seen that, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and and okay. and, and also, my granddad was a pianist and used to teach me that so okay that okay so 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 would you say that um granddad had an influence in you jumping on the old joanna no because i didn't know he did <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, but that is the case now you're a very very good um keyboard keyboardist is that the word i don't know <laughs> yeah yeah keyboard player yeah keyboard yeah um yeah so i mean i'm sure i'm sure it would have been a genetic in the blood type of thing okay um so, i played i started playing when i was i can't even remember to talk so um it's it's been something in in my you know in my blood from from i could remember you know and would you would you would you say that you're classically trained or was no, it something no, I'm not, that I'm not, just i'm not classically trained no not at all can you read I, music um i can make out what's happening i can't play in sight read at the same time yeah not not to any level i can get through charts and stuff like that but most of what i do is kind of in, by instinct and ear yeah so, yeah god given talents very... some would say some would say god given talents gavin yeah yeah absolutely because I mean, there were i'm sure there were many many famous people just like yourself that um can't read a note but can play anything at any time and, and you're certainly one of them. So here's the thing. I, I, I've been studying you now for, for a long time. I know the family. And um, one of the things that I've noticed about you is, you know, your, your ability to get on well with other people. You've, um, you've, you've played with Stevie Wonder. Um, and just name a few of the people, because I know you, you did some work with Flowetry at one point as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so it was Stevie Wonder, there was Gloria, G Gloria Gaynor, there was wow. Duffy, there was uh, Shola Ama. Wow. Point. Okay. Kate what was B. it like? What was it like with, with, with Stevie? Because, you know, being a Motown legend, mm. you know, that must have been something where you had that learning opportunity to. You know, because yeah. he plays keys as well. He plays, you know, yeah. you know, math organ and and stuff like that. What was it yeah. like working with Stevie Wonder? I think he was a bit jealous of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, it was incredible. Steve, like Stevie Wonder is one of my biggest um, heroes. So, what's um, your favorite Stevie Wonder album? The songs in the key of life. Keys of life. Yeah, everyone says that. <laughs> Or why? Why? A why? Close second could be yeah. talking book. Okay. Why? Why? Why those two though? Why those two? I know them. I know them really well, and and a lot of the songs are some of my favourite songs. So like um, on the talking book album, he's he's got this song called um, "You and I." If I'm yeah. Not yeah. I lo absolutely love that song. Love that song. Yeah, love it. Just love it. Such a good song such a good feeling and then he's also got blame it on blame it on the sun on the album which is which again i absolutely love that song and it's just a great feel um in general like as an album is the color of it and yeah. songs in the key of life same thing just killer songs killer killer songs. every like, song could be a single easily easily, easily. yeah and very yeah. very wide in its kind of appeal you've got something for the die hard you know muso heads and you've got stuff stuff that's a little bit more kind of middle of the road and it just caters for everyone so i i really appreciate what you've done on that album. most definitely now for you you're just getting ready you've released um music before you know your mm. own productions and stuff like that but this is a special one for you isn't it i mean obviously so many artists have gone through this last you know 24 months 26 months of not being able to tour or, or, or anything of that nature. Um, 
the song that you've you've decided to put out at the moment holds a special meaning for you. Tell us what this hotel is closed is all about. The song was born out of um, my decision to kind of <clears throat> sever ties with you know a partner that kind of was taking you know taking things taking my kindness and openness for granted and I kind of realized this is not really this is not cool <laughs> um, so I, I kind of painted the picture in the song of, you know just how I was feeling how it looked how you know how I was kind of feeling like I was being treated a little bit like a hotel, hence the name of the song. Um, because we break up and then we should come back and then we break up. And so yeah, after a while I was like, no, this is not gonna, this is not gonna continue anymore. And um, yeah, that, that, that was where the song came from. Um, I wrote the song and had it lying down for about 15 years. And um, I've done different versions of the song, um, just trying to find a sound and, and a musical identity. And yeah, this this version is kind of like, you know, I wrote, rewrote the bridge in 2019, and then um, yeah, this that's that's where the song came. It's it's in it's interesting, Gavin, that you know you, you say so many years ago. It just goes it just goes to show that you can um, write something uh, how and it doesn't really matter how long ago it is, and do so much um, over the years with what you've penned and still make it relevant for today. Yeah, because you did say fifteen years ago, but if you hadn't said that. I would have thought, oh, this was a recent relationship, right? And sure. you've just penned it. Yeah. But it well, was a it was a way back. It was way back. I th I think I th you know there's that classic saying that there's nothing new under the sun, and um, I think everybody in some way sh may have gone through something similar. Most Not definitely. That, you know, Most definitely. And that's, for me, the thing with with um, with good good stories and relevant topics that no matter who it is and no matter when it is i think it will always be relevant and most definitely I'm working really hard to make sure that um whatever i create and put put out um is in some ways a story everybody's lived or can identify with in some way shape or most form. definitely it's got to be something that can be relatable and this yeah. is certainly relatable people do have relationships people do break up people yeah. do you know have good news people do have bad news happy times sad times etc etc um when i listen to the instrumental which is playing underneath at the minute uh, some might hear some might not um i i i listened and i thought wow this is Listen, you could put this out as a jazz track. The the instruments and 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 everything. Who played the instruments on on the song? Did did you? Ah, uh, yeah. Did you That's call good, in some favors? That's a good question. <laughs> um, so, drums was Nathan Allen, um, an amazing drummer. Um, on upright bass is a good friend of mine, um, and he plays on most of my records. Neville Malcolm. Neville Malcolm. Yeah, Neville Malcolm. Yeah. Um, on key, uh, piano, there's another good friend of mine, Alex Montague. On Hammond organ uh, is another good friend of mine, Luke Smith. Yes. Um, on acoustic guitar is another good friend of mine, Eric <laughs> Apapule. Um, and these are all, you know, world-class musicians. Absolutely. Uh, Bold on percussion. Um, who else is there? There's BBs, there's uh, Sarah Brown, 
who's an incredible uh -huh. vocalist. Singer. Yeah, it's actually my sister Emily, Emily who okay. I told you about earlier. Okay, and then there is uh, another good friend of mine, Demi Ma, who's who's also a vocalist as well, um, artist in her own right. And then there is on horns. Um, there's uh, Jack Birchwood on trumpet. Yeah. Um, incredible player as well. And then um, Andrew Ross, who done flutes and sax, and done um, quite a good portion of the arrangement um, with myself and Luke. Um, the 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 um, horn arrangement. It's okay. incredible. Um, went to Absolutely see. incredible. And then there is uh, Tanya Ilyashova on the string arrangement. Who we did we did the string arrangement um, a long time ago actually. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of anyone else. I've missed anyone because I would hate to do that. Yeah, I think I think that's it. That, that's that's the full house. <laughs> I think so. I think so. That, and obviously, there's the, the engineers who help yeah. to record. And, and who who were they? Who were they? So um, that's a good question. Because the thing is, a lot of the tracks were done in a lot of the parts were recorded in different places. So okay, uh, um, we started at Snap Studios with an engineer called uh, Marco Pasquale. Yes. Who, like a resident student's engineer there. So he recorded most of the rhythm section, the drums, organ, upright bass, piano. And then um, um, BBs were done at my studio with myself. What's that, Brown House? Yeah, Brown House Studios. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then um, acoustic guitar was done with a guy called Shuta Shinoda, who is a Japanese engineer in based in Hackney. And then I thought you was gonna say based in Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> right. But Hackney Hackney will do. Hackney will do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he's I record all of my, my vocals with Shuta most of Okay. Time. So, so, so free, really, really just a, 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 a huge production. And, and that's the reason why I said when I heard the instrumental version, I thought, wow, that could be put out as a jazz track. Absolutely just amazing yeah. um, technique and, and sound and just everything just comes together so nicely. Yeah. Um, you know, so we mentioned about your own um, setup at Brown House. Um, and... I, I I read somewhere that um, you you started that to sort of hone your your skills and stuff like that. Apart from yourself uh, recording it, is there anyone else that you you're planning to bring in and 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 and, uh, and and work with out of that location, or is it just for is it just for Gavin alone? So when you say Brown House, in, you mean to to work to work on my with. On yeah, on, your, on yours or theirs. I'm working with artists all the time. Yeah. Um, maybe not at Brown House and maybe not just production, but I'm mixing for other artists all the time, um, writing with and for other artists all the time. Um, Maxi Priest, um, I've been writing with for his next project. Uh, Luke Smith, I, I, I write and the Duke project, yeah. yeah. Um, I've just finished the song with a great young man by the name of Bodie, um, Nathan Bodie. Okay. Um, who's also kind of a soul kind of soul singer. Um, I've actually just been writing with an artist who is currently being married, managed by um, Lawrence Johnson. Lovely wonderful lady who yeah it's got a beautiful uh, you know our artistry is amazing so we've we've done a song together recently who's that mixing who's with, that who's, who's that who's that young lady her name is kaya burke lovely i don't know 
she has a different stage name that I know as Kaya. Kaya Burke. Okay, well, yeah. that sounds good. And working with Lawrence Johnson, everybody knows Lawrence from New Colours back in the day and uh, one of the founders of LCGC. Uh, not a lot of people know that. All right, so, um, yeah, a lot going on. What's the plans after um, this hotel is closed? Is it an EP? Is it an album? Have you got any thoughts on where you're going to go with this? I'm where would you like to be? <clears throat> yeah, I'm planning to, to release an EP in the next few months. Um, so before the year's out, right? 100%, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I try to keep my plans relatively loose. I think in the, the way that things go in this industry and in this society, it's so quick that you can find yourself caught in a, in a, in a kind of a corner because you've committed to something that isn't really relevant or isn't going to work as well as you want it to do. So I have plans, but I'm not kind of, I'm not fully committed to them. They're in sand. They're not in concrete. They're in sand. I like that. That's good. It's in sand. So yeah. it's fluid. That's I good. I definitely have an EP. Um, I'm, I'm kind of literally in the middle of kind of piecing together, which yeah. will obviously feature some of the stuff um, is which is out already on my on my online channels. Okay. Talking about your 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 channels, how can people um, find out more about you if they needed to reach out? Um, so I'm on all the social channels, but I think everything should be um, accessible from my website, which is uh, my name, gavinholligan.co.uk. Two hours. Oh, I'm not hooligan. <laughs> as I as I mistakenly <laughs> put. Um... Everyone does it. Everyone does it. <laughs> you're a hooligan. Everyone no, no, does it. No, no, you're a hooligan. It's, it's hooligan. funny because I because I obviously was a footballer. It, it's it's ironic, but yeah. <laughs> there's only so yeah. far you can. <laughs> You're a football <laughs> hooligan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Gavin, it's been really nice um, catching up with you. I know that I have this feeling because when I listen to your music, it just it it just seems like you know you you you've got a. Um, don't get this wrong. You're an old soul, but in a, in in a new youngish. You know, there's a lot going on upstairs, um, and I <laughs> no, I, I can tell, I can tell, and I can't wait for you to just burst loose because I feel like there's a there's a little bit of mm, little bit you haven't quite just burst out yet, and I feel like that's about to happen. That's how I feel, and I'm looking forward to that. And you know, what with the doors opening again now, you know, I'm looking yeah. forward to to hearing yeah. about you being all over the world. Yeah. Um, you've certainly been drawn by um, some names that have gone before you. Um, you know, you've been MDs on a few big gigs as well, haven't you? You've been called yeah, yeah. in as MD? Yeah, yeah, MD or produ producer, arranger. Or producer, arranger. Just depends. You know. I'm, I'm wearing loads of hats. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. it's brilliant it's brilliant and um i did want to get into some other stuff but i think i'm going to save it for when the ep comes out please promise me that you, we'll, we'll get more time with you when that happens yeah of course of course for now thank yeah. you so much to my guest well, gavin holligan not hooligan and uh, <laughs> i'm looking <laughs> i'm looking forward to speaking to him again but for now uh you've been watching the straight up program with myself grantly my guest uh, Gavin Holligan. Thank you so much for watching. Remember that you can subscribe uh, and like and share and I'll catch up with you again on the show next time. Take care. Thank you.